everybody. This is Lady Dust, and we're picking up right where we left off. Here in the very scenic Shinsu field. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let's explore a bit. I want to talk to you, dude. Hello, Hooch. You are... Uh, you're okay, are you? I thought the sky looked a little bit funny the night of the festival. They say that's because Orochi came back to life. And that's not all. Kushi the Brewer was singled out as a sacrifice, but then this guy Susano defeated Orochi and saved her. It all sounds a bit far-fetched to me. It's as good as a fairy tale. But if it's really true, well then the monsters ought to calm down a bit, right? And it would be safer for you to play around here, Pooch. Well, with the, all the shopping duty, maybe you should have no time for that at all. So what do you say, Pooch? Ready to browse my wares? I thought he was going to say something about the lightning around us. And he's got really nothing of interest of me for me. Alright. It's going to take me a while to get used to kind of the new bud configuration because, you know, the freaking spacebar decided not to work with me. Maybe I need to get another keyboard even though I just got this one. Well, this keyboard came with the PC, so. Now I know you have another base for me, home hipster. Hey, white connoisseur, you know this never lets up. Let you down, huh? You're just in time to check out my fourth masterpiece, man. My fourth base, Arbor Neck. Getting the color just right was a challenge even for me. Go ahead, take it. Do whatever tells you. Do whatever what nature tells you to do. Alright, so there's several places it could go. I'm trying to remember which places have I been to and which places haven't I been to. Oh, when we come back, let's go use that cat statue over there and climb up there, because I know there's a bead up there. And then we gotta race, uh... Hold on, let me get a little closer to my microphone. I'm still not used to having a microphone on the desk. My other microphone was attached to my... Ooh, bird. I'm usually distracted. My other microphone was attached to my headset, so this is, like, a little new for me. I think there was, uh... Yeah, here it is, a shrine. what? That's just easier for me. Okay. Uh, what was I doing again? Right, cat statue. Let's go to the cat statue. Then maybe we'll check out Kamiki Village, see if I can find that last bead, all that good stuff. Because I'm just missing a couple of more tricks up my non-existent wolf sleeve. And I should be, you know... A fine fighting machine to get all those beads. Oh, sorry, again, got the buttons mixed up. Oh, things got a little dark. It's all good. Thank you, cat statue. I love you. Here we are. Now, a bead should be somewhere around here, possibly. I hope so, maybe. If we see any shinies. Oh, wait, no. Before we can even get the bead, we gotta do the. Devil's Gate, Demon Gate, whatever. We gotta kill stuff. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I gotta re-equip the right weapon. Ow. That's what you get for hitting me. Oh, man, I just took him out in one hit. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I got the overpowered sword now. What you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you can. Oh my god, I just slashed him. Ah, wrong one. There we go. And pee on you just because I can. And you're dead. Ah, uh, that feels good. It always feels good to kill things. Well, you're gonna... Yeah, there it is. And there's some bunnies! So I think I'm saving up for 400 just to max out my wallet. Feed the bunnies. I love you, bunnies. Okay. We got the bunnies. Maybe I should make it nighttime. Yeah, it would make it easier to find the shinies I'm looking for. Oh, woo! Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Are you the stray bead I'm looking for? Nah, you're just a pearl. You're a type... You're a circular sphere, no doubt, but you're not the exact sphere I'm looking for. Ah, oh, we got some more praise here, though. We're saving up for 400, so every little bit is good. Yeah. Man, this new mouse is so much better, I gotta say. Nah, I don't think there are any beads down there. Uh, let's see. Any shinies? Shinies. Oh, yeah, there's the boar. The boar constellation. Okay, I'm fairly certain it's somewhere, like, on this upper area, like, the cat statue got us to. And then the last one in Shinsu Field, we got a race, uh, Ida to get. Ooh, I might be that one over there. Are you the bead I'm looking for? Or just a bead, because there really should only be one bead here I'm looking for. Nah. Ah, but you know what? You are a white porcelain pot. That's fairly expensive. I'm definitely gonna be selling all these things in one go. Because I know there's an, another round of uh, fighting moves I can learn. What? Oh! Is it... This has been here for ages, but... Nobody knows what's it for. There are many things that in Nippon... No one knows when they are built, or even who built them. But I suppose people have more important things to think about. Yeah, I'm sure someone out there finds this extremely interesting, you know, where those things were built. I find it interesting. I'd like to know who built it and why. You know, speaking of things that built, I saw a Twitter post that, uh, you know that from Pompeii, uh, you know that island that got destroyed by the volcano? One of, like, the only buildings that survived was a brothel. So, you know, you'll see, like, a lot of fancy art that depicts, um, uh, not the most savory content, and it is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie, so that's what's on my mind. So just imagine you're like an archaeologist and you want to figure out, like, oh, I wonder, like, who built this building and why? And so you look inside and you see the kind of pictures they have on the wall. Oh, God, it's just, it's funny to me. More bunnies! More praise, but mostly bunnies. I like bunny rabbits, but I don't know if I'd ever have a bunny rabbit as a pet. As far as I know, they're not, like, uh, the best kind of pet to have. They're, they're a little bit destructive, a little bit smelly. We granted so are dogs and cats, but, you know, cats and dogs have, like, a little extra bonus to them in that, you know, you can form, like, a... I guess, like, a deeper companionship. I say this as someone who's never owned a rabbit. Who knows? Maybe you can form a deep companionship with a bunny rabbit, and I just never tried it. Because I never had a bunny. Bunnies are still super cute, though. There we go. Got a lot of praise. I'm just gonna refresh the night. I'm just going to refresh the night. Thank you. Oh, this might be it. Please be the beat I'm looking for. Alright. Bead! I said bead! Ah. Just a Kutani pot. Alright, let's keep looking. Because I'm so sure that a bead is just buried somewhere around here in this upper area. Oh, maybe it's that thing. Ah, missed it. Ah, no, just a crystal. Uh, bead? Anything around here that's a shiny? No? Oh, come on! I'm so positive of this! Bead? Okay, I'm starting to feel a little stupid. By stupid, I mean just like my regular self, but still. Man, I was so positive of this, that there was just a bead buried around here. Maybe I missed it back there? Okay, you know what? I had to have missed it back there. I'm so sure a bead is just buried up here in this upper area. I mean, it makes sense, too. Why wouldn't a bead just be buried up here? Or just, like, in a chest nearby? You know, like, it makes logical sense. 
you know, this is an area you wouldn't be able to get to until later on in the game. So, like, they would put a beat up here for your own, your own enjoyment, your own sense of wandering and discoverment. And I guess there really isn't a beat here, and I'm just insane. Well, the insane part is uh, nothing new. Being wrong, though, hurts deeply. Who am I saying? I'm mostly wrong that I am right. Also, the last time I really played this game, like, all the way through, definitely was years ago. Alright. Let's go check out the statue, I guess. Uh, let's see. Statue. Ah, here we are. There's something written here. Hmm. Never seen such writing before. Even I can't read it. wonder what it says. Yeah, you don't really know what it is, your son? Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping you'd read that for me. Alright, let's get on top of this thing. Alright, time to Lion King. Lightning! Go! I think we just broke a priceless piece of... I want to say sculpture, but that doesn't make sense. I want to be a priceless piece of sculpture. Oh, we did break it. Nice. Okay. Here we go. I know what happens up ahead. Don't worry. Ami! Do you know where this hole leads to? No. There was a foul smoke rising from Nine Tails, which flew off to the northern lands. That's what's waiting for us on the other side of this tunnel. Anyway, what's up with that creepy lightning? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I think your bad feeling uh, makes perfect sense, his son. Okay, in the dark, long, creepy tunnel we go. Where nothing bad ever happens. That's just a fact. Oh, into the, into the smoke. Oh, this is actually very nice music. And there's still a long, creepy tunnel to go through. Isn't that just nice? And the exit. Man, that was a lot of tunnel. Oh, not so nice music. In fact, no music at all. Though I do like snow. Brr. Is it cold here or what? How could anyone be so darn cold? I know Kam Kam is the northernmost part of Nippon, but come on! I don't remember it ever snowing this hard before. Listen, Ami, I'm gonna hunker down in this fur coat of yours. You try to find us some shelter from this nasty blizzard. You got it, son. You're my best friend. I'll find you someplace warm. You don't have a nice bird coat like me. Oh, I guess that was just like a dramatic reveal. Oh, here it is. Here's like the little safe spot. You know, let's just save since we're in a new spot in general. No, oh, I said I wanted to race Ida. Oh, let's just explore this place a bit. We can always come back and race Ida. Yeah, he's not like a necessity. Oh, look at that. It looks like the breeze is coming from there. Oh, oh, no, never mind. Stop, drop, and roll, it seems. Get it? Because he has a sign. No? Yeah, it was a dumb joke. Alright, bring it. Definitely got the upgraded version here. Ah, oh, not that upgraded, actually. Come on. You ain't got nothing on me! Yeah, I can beat on you. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you're dead. Okay. Now, let's take a little look here. Ready? This is crazy, Ami! This blizzard's gonna freeze us on inner tracks! Let's pull back for now. Fair enough. Anything to dig up around here? Anything to read around here? No? It's a nice hut. <laughs> Look! Fire! Fire! I guess we're not gonna freeze to death after all. Huh? Yeah, you, you probably.
probably, that guy should probably have knocked or entering someone else's home. What's your problem, Ami? I'm allowed to relax in front of the fire, ain't I? Outside we go. <laughs> Looks like he means business. Oh, you think I'm afraid of that? Yeah! You got nothing on me, dude! Yeah! Oh, now it's a fair fight! Bring it! Whoa! Okay, I see you brought it! Oh no. Come on. Not afraid. Just like when I fought the dogs. Bring it. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, okay. Quickly. Let's see if we can't cherry bomb them away. Yeah. that coming. Whoa! Okay. Yeah! Got you on the high corners right there. Whoa! Ice! Maybe I can melt the other dude? This seems just to be made out of ice. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, ice means nothing to me, dude. You're going against the sun goddess, man. You don't got a chance. Come on, bring it. Think I'm afraid of that? Maybe a little. Not a lot, though. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Ah, oh, dang it, missed. All right. You ain't gonna get away. Oh, woo, all you want, bucko. 
Yeah, you ain't got nothing on me. Yeah! That really got you. Oh, you are toast. Oh, I gotta take out that guy. Come on! Yeah! You took him out! Took him out with the lint roller, man. Uh, what voice should he have? <laughs> Not bad, white one. I'm warrior of the Una tribe. I'm gonna get closer to the mic because he has a quieter voice. You are obviously not one of our tribe. And I can see that you are no mere wolf either. What name do you go by? This here is Amaterasu, the great savior of Nippon. But enough about that. Why'd you have to go to Takas? What are you doing with that sword in the first place? I see you have a Ponkul with you. Well, that's the species his son is, a Ponkul. Wait, is that you, his son? I haven't seen you around in ages. Must be nice to be able to roam Nippon on the back of a white wolf, huh? I heard you got tired of painting and ran from this land in disgust about a year ago. So why did you come back? Did you have second thoughts? Why you? I don't know who you two think you are. But you're nothing like the legendary Shirai Anu and the pint-sized warrior. Ah! Let a cork in it, will ya? Why don't you start by telling us why you have the sword? This sword? I have this sword because the time to wield it has come. What? As you well know, come... Kamu? I'm gonna call Kamu. Kamu is a harsh land, covered in snow and ice. And the monsters that infest the region only make our life worse. Yet, we, the Oinai tribe, have managed to survive to this day. It is because the sacred Izofuji mountains have watched over us. However, our mothers and protectors, our most sacred of mountains, have been taken over by those demons. Yes, I speak of the twin demons, Lech, Lechku and they have been imprisoned at the twin summits of Izufuji, but they suddenly broke free one day and began their deadly assault upon the land of Kamu. The snowstorms grew more intense, transforming Kamu into a frozen wasteland. Those demons are back? Many of our tribe have been killed by their relentless attacks. It was as if they roamed our land in search of something. But their merciless slaughtered all the o Oinai they came across. The good earth is losing its power and its soul. Without these gifts of the gods, Kamu will become uninhabitable. I must slay those wretched demons now, before it is too late. What about the villagers? They should be battling the cold that blasts down from Izofuji. After all, our village lies at their base. It is only a matter of time before Kamu becomes an icy tomb. An icy 
Fancy tomb? Then what are you doing here with that guardian sword? Why'd you bring it out of the village? Did I not say the time to use the sword has come? You've heard the prophecy of salvation, have you not? The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Kuton, Kuton, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means when this sword glows silver, riding the village, ridding the village of the abominable blizzard will be child's play. The sword's gonna start glowing? Yes, but Kutone will not awake until it has tasted more monster blood. So I will continue slaying the foul beasts wherever they may be. Until Kutone lights our way to victory. Good on you, dude. Good on you. I still totally owned your butt, though. All right, what more do you have to say there, buddy? Oki, okay, that's your name. It appears the blizzard has lightened a bit. I know not when the demons will launch another terrible blizzard. But now would be your best chance to flee to the village. Wait a sec, Oki. I can't believe the chief let you take that sword. I mean, tan my head once for just touching the darn thing. I already told you. The time to wield it has come. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Kutu, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means that when this sword glows silver, ridding the village of this abominable blizzard will be child's play. But Kutum will not wait till it has tasted more monster blood. So I will continue slaying the foul beasts wherever they may be, until Kutum lights our way to victory. Sounds cool, dude. You do you, I do me. And we got time in the video to kind of just explore a bit more. Ooh, big curse zone everywhere. Oh, hey, it's the Archer Dude again. Hey, Archer Dude. Yuchi. Oh, it's you again, Pop. Yuchi. Hey, aren't you? I knew it. You're that Master Bowman, the Apple Guy. What are you doing all the way out here in this nasty blizzard? Well, you see, uh, I've come to realize something since setting off on my travels. It's my bow. It seems to bring about misfortune. So I decided to go far away where I couldn't cause any trouble. And what do you and what do you know? I ended up all the way up here at the north. Anyway, Poochie, why not have a bite to eat and relax a bit? I like the way you think, dude. You sure gonna you sure you're gonna be okay out here in this blizzard? Hey, this is Yochi you're talking to, my little friend. The mysterious path of the of an archer. He sounds too similar to Isun. I'm gonna try my best to kind of separate them a bit. The mysterious path of an archer is unsettled from the elements. We concentrate only on our actions, which define our lives. When I'm shooting, I don't, I, I care not what temperature may be. Uh, no doubt all of that went over our heads a bit. Anyway, Poochie, why not have a bite to eat and relax a little bit? Clear your mind, but even ice will feel warm to the touch. Yeah, you're just gonna keep on giving me that, uh, bit of a stoic nonsense, aren't ya? Well, before I go messing with you again, I'm gonna go take a look at your house. Let's see, anything of note? No, but you seem to have a real knack for archery, my friend. Taking all your yen. Where am I? Uh, right. Let's make that lightning on that bow. Wait for it. There. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. Blah blah blah. The... Now my arrows bring down thunder. This can't be a coincidence. Doesn't seem like a curse either. This must be fate. This has to be a sign from the gods. It's my destiny to live and die with my arrows. I, I don't think that's the message, dude. All this time, I've been saying I want to do big things. But I was really just traveling so I could have an easy life. Now I see there's no such thing as an easy path. Not when you devote yourself to mastering one thing. The gods have shown me my true path. The path of archery. So, what are you gonna do now? The time has come for me to stop being so whimsical. My real journey starts here and now. We must have some kind of strange link between us. It's only when you two are around that the gods show their hands. I'll never forget the both of you. If we ever meet again, let's share a few apples together. Farewell, my friends. Now, you're still kind of being whimsical running away, just saying. Ah, apple guy's gone. Boy, he sure was all fired up. Even more so than usual. Maybe he's finally found his reason to live. If only all of us could do that. Well, that's philosophical. Alright, before we end the video, why don't we just revitalize this cherry blossom tree? For Sakuya. be a strong cherry tree for it to last in a blizzard like this all year round. Yay, more praise! Alright, well, I think now is a good time as any to leave the video here. Oh, we did really good. We made it to the northern area. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. Later! <laughs>